That's it. Wonderful. I knew I could count on you. I don't have any money to give you, but I can show you a few tricks I learned playing for the Winterhold Wizards. Lorena, that fool student of mine stole my flute and sold it to some necromancer. I just got a ransom note for it. That flute has been handed down for 17 generations. Well, don't just stand there. Go get my flute! That damn fool! I should wring her neck. Apparently, Lorena told him some story about the flute being able to make the dead dance. It's just a flute. A really old and valuable flute, but just a flute. I do. I've been working on mine for a while now. I suppose Giraud sent you for it? I was still trying to get the wording right, but here it is. Here you are. Always good to see a fellow bard. Tell Giraud I said hello. This is part of me. Guard it with your life. I've got it right here. Just don't read it. It's not very good. But this land is ours, and we'll see it wiped clean Of the scourge that has sullied our hopes and our dreams We drink to our youth, to the days come and gone For the age of oppression is now nearly done We'll drive out the empire from this land that we own. With our blood and our steel, we will take back our home. All hail to Ulfric, you are the High King. In your great honor, we drink and we sing. We're the children of Skyrim, and we fight all our lives. And when Southern Guard beckons, every one of us dies. This next song goes out to the Dragonborn, the savior of Skyrim. This is a local favorite and one of the first songs I ever learned. Ragnar the Red. This one's a favorite of mine, a legend we all know and love. This is an ode to Skyrim's truest sons and daughters, the Stormcloaks. This is an ode to Skyrim's staunch protectors, the Imperials. With a voice-wielding power of the ancient Nord art, It's an end to the evil of all Skyrim's foes. Our hero, our hero, claims a warrior's heart. For the darkness has passed and the legend yet grows. I tell you, I tell you, the Dragonborn comes. Believe, believe, the Dragonborn comes. Beware, beware, the Dragonborn comes. You'll know, you'll know, the Dragonborn's come. Men ran and they cowered, and they fought and they died. They burned and they bled as they issued their cries. And if Aldwin's eternal, then eternity's done. For his story is over, and the dragons are gone. We drink to our youth, to the days come and gone. For the age of aggression is just about done. Alduin's wings, they did darken the sky. His roar fury's fire. And his scales sharpen scythes. We need saviors to free us from Alduin's rage. Heroes on the field of this new war to wage. And if Alduin wins, man is gone from this world, lost in the shadow of the black wings unfurled but then came the tongues on that terrible day steadfast as winter they entered the fray and all heard the music of alduin's doom that sweet song of skyrim sky shattering thoom and so the tongues freed us from Alduin's rage, gave the gift of the voice, ushered in a new age. 
We'll drive out the storm cloaks and restore what we own. With our blood and our steel, we will take back our home. Down with Ulfric, the killer of kings. On the day of your death, we will drink and we'll sing. You must be a storm cloak through and through to request that one. Only true Imperials request that one. Certainly. It's a fine tune and a good request. Ah, a fine but bloody tale. I can do that one. Sure. What can I do for you? Sure. What can I do for you? Sure. My voice could use a rest. The Jarl has put out a bounty on some bandits. Here, take a look at this decree for details. The Jarl has put out a bounty on Forsworn. Here, take a look at this decree for details. The Jarl has put out a bounty to slay a giant. Here, take a look at this decree for details. The Jarl has put out a bounty on the dragon that's been terrorizing the countryside. Here, take a look at this decree for details. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. How's the newcomer look? He just might make it. She just might make it. Looks slow to me. I could take him. I could take her. Not bad. Die, you dog! Death to the beast blood! I'll rip you apart, companion! Isgrimor would be ashamed of you! I can smell your shame! Which one is that? We knew you'd be coming here. Well, look what we have here. It's time to die, dog. Your mistake, companion. It doesn't matter. She wears that armor, she dies. It doesn't matter. He wears that armor, he dies. Killing you will make for an excellent story. I... I can only imagine Ayla's anger. I'll make sure not to cross her for a while. Not now. This isn't a good time. All right, you want to go? Watch it there, brother. Watch it there, sister. You fight well, brother. You fight well, sister. Help! Get that beast out of my house! It's still here! Get it out! Get that thing out of here! Thank you. I thought that beast would be the end of me. Please get me home. Are you here to save me? Thank the Divines. Let's move. I'm ever so grateful. Please, give my regard to the rest of the Companions. Well, I... I suppose I'm not left much choice in the matter, am I? Very well. I trust a hefty purse of septums will suffice? Oh, no. I'm no fool. You'll learn what you need to know once we've come to an agreement. They're taking it by wagon to Windhelm. If you hurry, you'll catch them before they get far. It'll be a fairly slow-moving caravan. The shipment is quite heavy and guarded by many men. Now let's pretend we never had this discussion. Not here. Come with me. Stay close and the guards will leave you alone. Enough to make a significant difference in the war. It would ruin me. I have a good thing going here. The Jarl benefits from my more creative arrangements as well, though it'd be impossible for her to admit that. Look, perhaps we could come to some kind of agreement? Layla is a simple and traditional woman, which makes it easy to manipulate her, but impossible to regain her graces once offended. I don't think so. How do I know you won't continue to extort me? A wagon full of gold isn't good enough for you. What if I told you about a large shipment of gold and weapons? So, you're an Imperial spy. Interesting. I have no strong love for the Stormcloaks, but I can't say I'm all that fond of the Empire, either. This war of yours makes it difficult for a resourceful woman to advance her interests. Perhaps we can find a way for both of us to prosper from this unfortunate discovery? I suppose you're here to extort something from me? Is that it? Well, what is it you want? What do you want with us? Gods, I'm so tired. You need something? Talk to my husband. Vantus Lorius. Or just Lorius, if it's all the same to you. The bride has been murdered! Somebody help! La 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 do da 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 di da da do 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 di do da 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 
Dum di di dum di 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 dum 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 di di ding di 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 dum. Today, the problems of Skyrim are not my problems, nor are they yours. Today, we are joined in peace and happiness. So please enjoy yourselves. These days, it seems there is dread everywhere, whether it be war or dragon. But I beg you, here, today, put such fears aside. Enjoy yourselves. I thank you all again for making this the best wedding a woman could ask for. You have all helped to make this a truly extraordinary wedding. All of my dreams have come true, so thank you, thank you all, honored guests, good people of solitude. I just wanted to take this time to thank you all for being here, to thank you for sharing this wonderfully happy day with myself and my new husband. Are you all enjoying yourselves? Please eat, drink, and make merry on this most happy of days. If you want my opinion, I think they should have paid for an entire quartet. Plenty of bards at the college would have loved the opportunity. May you all be as happy in your lives as I know I will be in mine. Thank you again for everything. Ba 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 bum bum ba 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 bum ba bum ba 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 bum ba 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 bum ba bum da dum. Dum dum di 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 dum 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 di 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 dum 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 di 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 dum 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 di 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 dum dum. In this courtyard, there are no storm cloaks, there are no imperials, there are only people come to celebrate a union of two souls. So make merry, good friends and neighbors. My husband Aesgir and I thank you for coming to our reception. We thank you for sharing the love we have for each other. Please enjoy the festivities. This is a day of peace and happiness when Imperials and Stormcloaks join together as equals. Oh, Asgir, my husband, my dear sweet husband, why would someone do this to you? Why? This was supposed to be the happiest day of my life. Please enjoy yourself. I just came to sing. This is a horror show. <coughs> Me 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 me. Pardon me, just um, warming up. Never know when I may be called upon for a ballad. I am, thank you. I do so enjoy singing at weddings. It's just one of the many duties we at the Bard's College are called upon to perform. Oh, well, you tell your Stormcloak friends hello right back at them. This is a day of healing. Legion, Stormcloaks, all are welcome here. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Hail the Imperial Legion. Hail the Stormcloaks. Hail Solitude and the Eight Divines. On this glorious day, we honor everyone. <laughs> oh, no need to be shy. My day is your day. Please eat, drink, make merry. We're all friends here. What an amazing day this has been. I hope you've been enjoying the festivities. I'm, I'm just so overwhelmed. Such. Kindness, for me. Did you want something? I'm quite busy. I'm dying for a rest. I swear I could lie down right now and just sleep forever. Well, if you say so. I can't believe I got caught. Well, this is a nice mess you've gotten me into. That could have turned out better. Get it over with then. You're making a mistake. Fine, I'll take care of it. Just please leave me alone. You're just gonna stand there and take it? Fight back! Who taught you to fight? Keep those hands up! Don't let her get away with this! Get her! Come on, she's not so tough. Not so tough now, are you? Drive that snow back to the ground. Come on! Fight! Fight! Get him! Get her! Don't let him get away with this! Get him! Come on, he's not so tough. Come on, let's see what you're made of. You want a real fight, huh? Twelve septums on the big one. You're tougher than you look. You got me fair and square. I didn't mean nothing by it. Just leave me alone. What do you want? I've never held a knitting needle. I guess that comes down to footwork then. It's just, I think our fighting styles are similar. It just feels so slow. Why can't I train with Ayla? Should I be holding the blade further away than I would a smaller one? Good to have some fresh eyes up there at the top. I follow your lead, Harbinger. What's on your mind? Here to be a companion? 
Well, they just let me in, so there's probably no more room. I was the newest companion until you came along. I guess that's okay. Just means I can show you the ropes. Oh, hey there. I killed a bear yesterday. Did you kill anything? Oh, got more to say. Fight with us and you'll have stories to tell. Come up to your Vasker, if you're worth anything in a fight. Time to die, hero! Go ahead, try and fight back! Forsworn forever! Ugh. Ugh. For the reach! Die already so I can take your stuff! What you gonna do, huh? What you gonna do? Gonna split your belly like an old woman's purse. Gonna rip you open! Looky here, looks like we got ourselves a hero. You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. Now ain't this a surprise. You'll be so much easier to rob when you're dead. Come, come and face the Forsworn. Tell you what. You start running so I can stab you in the back. Can't wait to count out your coin. First you, then all of the Reach. The Forsworn will reclaim what is rightfully ours. Only the most famous warrior band in all of Skyrim. Have you been living with the Horkers? When we arrive, blood is spilled and our blades sing to the glories of Ysgrimor. This is life, brother. The struggle is what reminds us to draw breath. This is life, sister. The struggle is what reminds us to draw breath. Are you kidding? I've wanted to be with them since I was a little girl. Haven't you heard the stories of Kodlak and Skior fighting off the 101 orc berserkers? Skior says it was more like 40, but he's just being modest. Where else would I want to be but here? Learning from them, fighting at their sides. So much. This group... This family, this band, this is the best thing I've ever been a part of. The oldest fighting group in Skyrim, and nothing but glory from Ysgrimor's day to our own. To be counted in that line is a bit of immortality. Even if I never see Sovngarde, I'll have that much. The Circle are the ones who parcel out the jobs. That's Ayla, Skior, and the brothers, Farkas and Vilkas. Codlike advises them, but he doesn't really give orders. <sighs> Your people's war, I mean. The Nords. What kind of life would we be giving our little one if we stayed here? I'm just worried about raising a child in the middle of this war of yours. Rustleif, I've been wondering. Maybe after the baby is born, we should move to Hammerfell. Not hot enough. Does your Skyrim ever get warm, husband? It's at the south end, near that loose rock pile. You used to love finding new places. You should. I miss you. Not when there's so much to see. Werner, you should have come out with me yesterday. I found the most amazing tree growing right out of a cave. No need to get snippy. A traveler? I'll bet you've seen some sights. We should swap tails sometime. There's a gorgeous tree that grows right up through a cave to the northeast of here. If you're heading to Kynesgrove, stick to the road. Some pretty dangerous caves between here and there. Werner used to love exploring before we got married. Now he's become a bit of a milk drinker. Likes to stay home. If you head straight west from where the White River splits towards Whiterun, you can get a look at the Cradle Crush Giants. That's right. Home of the Red Guards. The land of sand and seas. I hope one day I'll convince Rustleif to take us back there. Until then, I'm content running the forge together here in Dawnstar. Not much. I came here a few years ago from Hammerfell when I married. The land is beautiful, but I can't stand this cold. I don't know how Rustleif manages it. We forge every day if you need anything. The only thing I dislike about my husband's homeland is the cold. Why is it always so cold? I help my husband Rustleif run the forge. He's a marvel with steel. I married Rustleif when he was in Hammerfell, apprenticing under my father. We discovered recently that I am with child. I'll need to stop working next season. Did you read that letter from Markarth yet? And how is that old warrior doing these days? Oh, dear. I wish there was something we could do to help him. If you're looking for a room, you want the four shields. It's no easy thing to make a living in the wilds of Skyrim. 
Don't see many travelers out this way. This land's tough and unforgiving, but beautiful, too. You hear all this talk about a war? I hope it never comes here. You look like you've seen your share of adventure. They are only a little late, Jarl. The trade routes are affected by the war. We should give them another day. The trade routes are affected as well. Procuring supplies is a guessing game. Weapons sell well, though. It was Dengir who made me a steward, long ago when he was young. When Dengir's health began to fail, young Sidgir was appointed Jarl in his stead. It was simpler just to keep me a steward. Sidgir has no interest in running his hold, and so leaves such matters to me. As for my part, I do my best to see that folk are treated fairly. Many battles have been fought here over the centuries. Graves were dug and monuments built, and the town grew around these. In time, Falkreath came to be known as the hero's graveyard. Many noble jarls and renowned warriors asked to be buried here. Falkreath's reputation has faded somewhat, but the graves remain, reminding us of the one inevitable truth of life. Lead the way. You can't scare me into submission. Let's go. Looks like you've already got someone with you. May wisdom forever light your path. Be safe, traveler. I'm the steward here. I serve under Jarl Sidgir and Jarl Dengir before him. Sidgir can sometimes act too quickly, but he does listen to Helvard and I. For Falkreath and I, this is just one more war in a long line. I'm the steward here. I serve under Jarl Sidgir and Jarl Dengir before him. Sidgir can sometimes act too quickly, but he does listen to Helvard and I. For Falkreath and I, this is just one more war in a long line. I don't have to take this from the likes of you. Let's see it. All right. Still here. I've got your back. Yes, Thane. What is it? We heading out? I'm right behind you. Still need me to do something? All right. What is it? Ready to get going? As you wish, my Thane. I will be back at your house if you need me, Thane. As you will, my Thane. I will protect you with my life. What do you want me to carry? You go on ahead. I'll head back home if you need me. Let's get going. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Not for you. Not for anyone. You lead, I'll follow. Let's get going, then. Yes, my Thane? I'll just be here, then. Lead on. Okay, got it. What do you need? Anything else? Can't do that. Sorry. Stendar's mercy be upon you, for the vigil has none to spare. Walk always in the light, or we will drag you to it. The suffering the Daedra cause will not go unpunished. The mercy of Stendar does not extend to Daedra worshippers. Stendar be with you. The Vigil will be watching you. None escape the Vigil. All come into the light. You're bloated with disease. The Vigilant of Stendar can help you, as long as you promise to never assist the Daedra. I am the keeper of the Vigil here in Skyrim. We bring Stendar's mercy to the innocent, and his justice to the Daedra. You speak to a Vigilant of Stendar. Cavort with any Daedra, and we will hunt you down. Wherever the Daedra hide, the Vigil of Stendar will cast them into the light. <coughs> hey, be careful! What are you doing? I'm not gonna warn you again. Once more, and I'm gonna have to kill you. Don't do that again. Last warning. You're pushing your luck. What's the matter with you? Stop that. Watch it. I'm on your side. Release me. What do you need? Farewell. Oh no! By the gods! This can't be happening! Stop! We know you're holding a Daedric artifact. Hand it over. Put that down. Careful with that. I will see you dead, monster. Then prepare yourself to receive Stendar's mercy. The Vigil of Stendar cleanses all Daedric filth from Tamriel. Give us any artifact you have or we'll purge you like all the others. Stendar's light purify you of your ills. They are profane creatures with no hope of redemption. 
They lure innocents to their deaths and corrupt the souls of all they touch. And their heretical artifacts grant powers to mortals that wreak havoc across Tamriel. They must be destroyed or guarded to prevent temptation. And any other abominations that prey on mortals? Vampires, werewolves, witches? But Daedra are the worst. Their callous disregard for our lives is abhorrent in the eyes of the God of Mercy. He is the God of Mercy, the patron of order and justice for all of Tamriel. We bring his compassion where none can be found, by cleansing all those who would offend his children. Yes, our order was founded after the Oblivion Crisis. We dedicate our lives to facing the threat of Daedra wherever they appear. Wise decision. The vaults in the Hall of the Vigilant will guard this against future temptation. We're quartered in the Hall of the Vigilant. Keeper Carset heads Skyrim's branch of our order there, providing healing and justice as needed. Get away from me. Stay away from that. It's locked for a reason. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Just bring it back to me. I can pay you. I understand. Of course. How much? It can't be helped. Not my problem. It would seem so. It's all in this note. You've done well. Maybe you can help me. Okay, just this once. How can I argue with that? Okay, okay, you've talked me into it. No need to get rough. Whatever you say. Don't hurt me. You win. A little coin always greases the wheels. Gold solves most problems, doesn't it? For that price, sure. You expect me to believe that? Nah, I don't think so. That doesn't change anything. I'll teach you to talk to me that way. I hope you're willing to back up those words with your fists. I don't have to take that from you. What? No! We've got an assassin! Check the shadows! Gods, help us! What in the... What are you doing that for? Where are you? You can't hide from me. Be careful. Hey, watch it! Don't do that! Is someone there? What was that? Huh? Keep your hands to yourself. Over here! You could have just asked. I saw you do that, you know. Ha! Found you! You dirty thief! Hands off. Watch what you're doing. Don't even think about it. Hmm? Good morning. All right, then. Mm-hmm. Good afternoon. What do you think you're doing? You're not supposed to be in here. Good day. <coughs> Good evening. Until next time. Yes? Need something? Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Some may call this junk. Me? I call them treasures. Got a pretty full stock of potions and alchemy reagents. Ah, so you're an alchemist, then. Hmm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? So, you wish to master the arcane arts. Huh, I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. Take a look. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? The finest weapons and armor. Someone do something! Somebody help! Help! I'm getting out of here. You need to leave now. What a waste. You'll die this day, dragon! Come on, you monster! You remind me of my cousin's cat. Killed that too! <sighs> die, dragon! You can't win this! That's close enough. I'm warning you, back off. I'm not sticking around to fight a dragon. Die, vampire! Tell us protect you. What the? Someone do something! Die, you filthy beast! Skyrim belongs to the Nords! Die, beast! You thieving little elf! Why are you doing that? I'll look the other way this time. I saw you steal that! You little wretch, I saw that! Remind me not to make you angry. You must really need that. You're not getting anything from me! How dare you! By Ismir, a thief! You call yourself a Nord? 
Fool! The Imperial Legion will have your blood! Someone do something! Help me! Help me! Think you can steal from me? Oh no you don't! You little thief! Filthy pickpocket! You dirty filching lizard! What are you doing, Swit? Help! Someone! Ismir's beard! Did you hear something? That takes care of that? Damn, where'd you go? Hmm. Nothing here after all. Come on! I knew I'd find you. You can't hide from me forever. Oh well. Must have run off. Anybody there? Help! Someone's being attacked! Help! I'm being attacked! Last mistake. Pickpocket! We've got a pickpocket! That's it. Don't say I didn't warn you. This is your last warning. Get away from there or else. You're trespassing here. You'd better clear out. You should have listened. Guards, help, trespasser. Hey, hands off. Hey, that isn't yours. Help, murder. Murdered in cold blood. By the gods, no. Why you, I'm not going to warn you again. Get out or I'll call the guards. It's time for you to leave, my friend. You, of all people, get out! Can't a woman get a moment to herself? Leave me! You dare dishonor the Legion? Bad idea. <sighs> What's the hurry? I'll let you live. This time. Careful there. <sighs> if you were anyone else, I'd make you leave. You need to leave. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hello? Who's there? <clears throat> <clears throat> now you're mine. There you are. <sighs> Must be my imagination. Are you Dragonborn? How did you do that? Get him! I know I heard something. I was sure I heard something. You should have stayed in your precious forests, elf. Die, you orc filth! You'll make a fine rug, cat. You're a disgrace to your own kind. Your kind has no place here. Ugh. What was that? By the gods, is that the voice? Do your worst. <laughs> that the best you can do? Leave that dog alone. Hey, that's a valuable animal. That's it. I'm placing you under arrest. This is your last warning. Get out or get arrested. You're not supposed to be here. No, not like this. Please, mercy. I guess you can have that. Guess they deserved it. I guess you had your reasons. Was that really necessary? Hmm. I guess I can look the other way this time. I didn't know you were so cold-blooded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll kill you if I have to. You won't get the best of me! Now you'll pay! Are you prepared to die? Give up while you still can! Phew. Slay it! Slay the dragon! I'm going to find whoever did this. Oh, what happened? I guess I was just hearing things. This what you want, huh? Not quite good enough, are you? <sighs> Time to finish this! I'm going to put you down! Never should have come here. <sighs> that it? That your best? No! That's all you've got? That your best? Huh? Weren't expecting that, were you? Not impressed. You're nothing. Gonna cry now, huh? I'll try and make this quick. 
By the gods, did that really just happen? Murder! Murder! Help! Somebody, help! I cannot best you. No more. I yield. I yield. Victory is yours. I submit. Enough! Damn you! Ha! Like the bite of a flea. You win. I submit. Oh. Enough of this! I've had enough of you. This what you want? I... Mercy! We are routed! Fall back! Just a scratch! Gods, no! This... isn't over. It's... nothing. Close. You'll need to do better than that. Uh, easily blocked. Oh, not so fast. Come on, come on. I'll have your head. Die, damn you. I'll kill you. Just stand still. God damn you. Just die. Ha, I think you're bleeding. Uh, must kill. Kill. No. Thank you. Free again. At last. You must die. Oh, hi. I'm glad I ran into you. I was wondering if... <laughs> Good dog. Stupid dog. Burn it! Burn the vampire! Vampire! Your skin's as pale as the snow. You scared of sunlight or something? Don't like those eyes you got. There's a bad hunger to them. He had your soft face. And that silly grin you get when you've done something wrong. That's his, too. Of course, sweetie. What did you like to know? Skaggy tells me that you were bothering him today. Can't you and Torum just play by yourselves? Do you think the Forsworn will come here? I mean, if they attacked Kolskager... I'm grateful, Skaggy. I'm sorry my daughter gives you so much trouble. You leave him alone. I don't want to hear Skaggy telling me you've been bothering him again. Most women would rather die than dig, but I have a daughter to raise. Poor Pavo and Gat, to have lived through a forsworn attack. My Aerith has her father's eyes. She's all I have left of him. Another day, another settlement gets attacked. No place in the Reach is safe from the forsworn. I'm the hardest worker in Left Hand. Better than any man. Oh, half the field should do. You know, I was thinking of expanding the herb garden... Make room for some new plants I'm planning. I just think pollinating would be easier if I could do a lot of plants at once. I had a look at that boneyard the other day, Vantis. The one to the northwest. I have work to do. Goodbye. I hope the wilds claim you one of these days. What do you need, my friend? I've got some fresh cabbage. I'm thinking of making some apple cabbage stew. She needs to learn to eat what I serve her. I swear you spoiled that child rotten. Besides, it's one of your favorites. Just never you mind about that. That's a shame. What's causing them all the trouble? Chin up, Branshai. Lady Mara will provide us strength and guidance through these difficult times. Don't you sweet-talk me, Alvar. Not after last night. I'll bring you water when I'm done with my other chores. Aye, she's helping me in the house and even helps her father at the forge. Drunk again, Embry? Don't let Alvar hear you talking to me that way. He'll stick your head in his forge. Thanks, sure, I have a lot of years before I have to worry about that. Dorothy? I was thinking I'd knit a couple of blankets, sell them to Lucan. Would you like to make one? Might be fun, working together. You know, Dorothy, with all those vegetables I've been growing lately, I was thinking we could make a right lovely stew. Together. How about it? Sure's crown, there are things ladies like us are supposed to do. We've talked about this. Fine. 
You play in the mud or play with your father's forge or get into sword fights with your little friend. But this is not over. Oh, Dorothy. You're breaking your mother's heart, you know that? Well, I can see your father and I are going to have to talk about this. And when we do, things are going to change. Dorothy, dear, I've been growing some really lovely vegetables. Maybe tomorrow you could help me plant a new patch? What do you say? Ugh, let me guess. You'd rather play Daedra and Battle Mages with Ordner. Or go fishing or catch frogs. Dorothy, listen to me. Your father and your friend may treat you like a boy, but you're not. Do you understand? So please, be a girl. For me, it only takes but a moment to say a silent prayer to Mara. Please come by soon. Not for me, but for yourself. When are you going to stop by the temple, Medesi? Then I thank Lady Mara with all my heart. For you, for our child, and for our love. And to think I was wandering the ash wastes only two years ago. I never knew my path would lead to you. I'm so sorry, my husband. You must remember, they're at the Bee and Barb to drink, not to listen to a sermon. You're a good man, Maramal. We're lucky to have you watching over us. You poor thing. You should come by the temple, speak to Maramal. No, no, not at all. Mara believes that the spark of a union comes from inside us, not from our appearance. Tell you what, if you still feel unsure, come by the temple sometime and we'll talk about it. Good day, Grelka. Feel free to ask me anything you like. Maul, can I ask a personal favor of you? Yes, milady. Sorry, milady. They will be completed. It's Hemming. He's making advances, and I can't bear the man's presence. Is there anything you can do? Anything you can do to keep his filthy hands off of me would be a welcome change. I'm sorry, milady. The components for those elixirs are quite volatile and, in some cases, very dangerous to handle. I must take care. I find the concept of sleeping with you not only repulsive, but morally unsettling. Does that answer your question? Oh, you poor thing, you must be starving. Come to the temple later and let us feed you. Just stay away from me and maybe I won't weave a spell to shrink something that matters to you. Oh, you poor thing. Come by the temple and my husband and I will keep you fed. As steward, I serve as an intermediary between the Jarl and her subjects. I also handle the less important and day-to-day -day policies that affect daily life in Riften. Lately, I've had my hands full suppressing these ridiculous accusations of corruption in the keep. There are those that believe the Jarl does nothing for this city, that it's corrupt and run by the Black Briar family. I can assure you that this is entirely false. We are fully in control of everything. If you're trying to ask if I tend the Hall of the Dead alone, then the answer is yes. You think anyone around here is going to lift a shovel to help me? Guess again. Leave the dirty work to old Alessandra. Look, I didn't ask for this job. I got stuck with it thanks to my father. My father was a priest of Arche. All my life was spent around the dead, being forced to learn the proper burial rituals and prayers. I never had any friends. Who'd want to spend time with the weird little girl who hangs around dead people? So I grew up with a miserable trade. This is all I know how to do. Prepare and inter the deceased. Maven Blackbriar is the owner of the largest and most profitable business in all Skyrim, the Blackbriar Meadery. We're pleased to have her in Riften. She brings stability, opportunities for employment, and strategic value to our city. Mara is the handmaiden of Kine, the goddess of the storm, and the mother of men. She is the bearer of love and the patron of marriage. If you wish to make a donation to her benevolence, speak to Maramal and ensure your true love will endure for all eternity. You represent Mara now. Set an example for all. Good journey, my child. Please, come back and speak to me any time. Be cautious. The pilgrimage to the shrine is not an easy one. I'd ask you to maintain civility while you're here. You're welcome in Riften, as long as you continue to obey our laws. I have to remember. Ward first, then summon. Okay. Now where did I put those spiders? If you're here to report any instances of corruption... Be confident that we're handling these rumors accordingly. The Imperials now control Riften, 
and have placed Maven Blackbriar on the Jarl's throne. Perhaps the Stormcloaks might rally to take back Riften one day. Only time will tell. Has the warmth of Mara been given to Riften? Lady Mara bids you welcome to her benevolence. The pilgrimage is complete. I can feel it. Anything else before you make the journey? Come to laugh at the grave tender? Did we have an appointment? No. It was a delivery? I can't remember. What is it you seek, my child? I'm feeling much better thanks to your efforts. I can see that disapproving look in your eye. I'm afraid my days as the steward of Riften has come to an end. As Riften's steward, I'm afraid I can provide only limited assistance, but speak your mind. Welcome to Mistvale Keep. I'm Jarl Layla's steward, Anuriel. I know you. Where was it? Huh. Oh! You were getting something for me. Excuse my disorganization, but I'm in the middle of some delicate experiments. Lady Mara's messenger returns. What can I help you with, my child? Visiting Riften? All are welcome at the Temple of Mara. Pleased to meet you. I'm a priestess at the Temple of Mara. I'd hardly call them a guild. More like unorganized rabble. In fact, I wouldn't say they were a threat at all. No, our resources should be spent on preparations for invasion. You don't have to because it's utter nonsense. It's never going to work. No, no, no. What I need to do is reverse that. Draw the harmonic energy into the reagent and then apply it with the proper incantation. What was I thinking? It would never work that first way. Why didn't you tell me? I'll tell you why you won't tell me. Because you were absolutely right not to. It's a fundamental rule of magic and it would be ridiculous. You can't draw from harmonic energy without a soul siphon. <laughs> Since you're so well informed, I'm certain you've solved the problem with thermic drift, right? What's not to get? It's as simple as Draven's first axiom of magic. Or was it Galarian's law of casting? Hmm. I'll tell you what. Let me find out where that's from. I'll need to look through my library and get you an answer. Um, what were we talking about? Someone actually interested in what I'm doing. Amazing. Well, allow me to explain. My experimentation involves a magical construct and a reagent that will allow the construct to maintain a field of permanent harmonic energy. Aha! So, you're a student of theoretical applied harmonics. Putting aside Ralston's constant of universal inversion for a moment, how would you approach the problem? Draw the harmonic energy into the reagent, or allow it to generate its own field? Calipers? That's utterly ridiculous. Maybe long ago you could just find calipers in every household across Tamriel, but not anymore. Hold on. You've given me a brilliant idea. Just as calipers hold materials in place, a soul siphon can hold magic fields in place. Genius! And I'm sure you've completely worked out how to counteract complete dimensional collapse, right? Are you completely insane? Swallow a soul gem? That has to be the most brilliant and unexpected solution I've heard in a long time. It solves all of my problems and keeps the field stable. Now all I need... Wait, what were we talking about? Of course! Nine is the most basic of magical principles. Oh, how stupid of me. That completely takes care of all your basic problems, magic a burn, dimensional collapse, and thermic drift. You've done it! Now, if I can only remember what we were originally talking about. The blue thing. But even the simplest harmonic field is composed of entirely... Wait just a moment. The blue thing. Yes, yes, yes. I can see your point. Draw out the necessary energies using a Jarl apparatus. But wait. What about soul reversal? You must be aware of the consequences when using the apparatus near an open magic field. Seven. Astonishing. I hadn't considered that. I mean, it would take months, years to work out the differentials. But what a revolutionary concept. Wait, wait. I can see a minor problem in your theory. Without a soul siphon, how would you prevent permanent magicka burn? I believe it to be a falsehood perpetrated by the Empire in order to weaken the citizens' confidence in your ability to rule. Yes, my lady? Yes, my lady. I will pass the good news on to her. 
My lady, Maven Blackbriar has sent word that she requires your seal in order to expand her shipments into Morrowind. I'll look forward to it then. On mid, my sweet. Are we still meeting later for... combat training? I would never knowingly place Layla in danger. You know that, too. Why do you always question my judgment? You don't trust me. I'm not angry with you. Tell you what, lover. Meet me in my chambers later and we can discuss the situation in private. I'm sorry, my lady. The stresses of all this research... It's becoming more than I can bear. Sorry, my lady. I've been looking, but... I'm convinced Sarland truly believes what he is saying. Do you realize how delicate the experiment is you've interrupted by sending for me? I may need to throw out the components and start again. Yes, my lady. I've also taken the liberty in preparing a private carriage, just in case. Yes, my lady. That unpleasantness at Helgen supposedly involved a dragon. It killed several soldiers before it departed. He would dote on her so much. Let her work the forge and everything. I miss him so. Ain't used to strangers here in Riverwood. You're pretty, I'll give you that. Just stay away from my husband, Alvar. Alvar and I, we got a daughter. Little Dorothy. My girl likes to work the forge with her papa. All of that blacksmithing. It's not good for a little girl. Ain't ladylike. Dorothy needs to spend more time in the garden. I could use the help. It don't matter what I grow. My Alvar, he'll eat anything. Maybe I'll do turnips next. Hmm. Or maybe radishes? I'm spoken for, you know, so don't get any ideas. Take care, husband. Hello, husband. You're rising late. You spent too long at the sleeping giant last night, didn't you? Hello, husband. You slept well? By my honor, I pledge to rid Tamriel of dragons. Dragonborn, what do you need? I'm a blade now. I can hardly believe it. It will have to do. Besides, if it came to blows, I'm sure the snowshods would come out here and assist us. Just worry about keeping the fields tended, and let the Jarl worry about the war. My darling, you've made me the happiest woman in all Skyrim. I've already lost a family, and we're about to start a new one. I don't want that to happen again. My husband and I were just recently married. I'm originally from Cyrodiil, but I left there after I had a falling out with my family. This was the first door in Skyrim I knocked upon, and little did I know my future husband would be answering the door. I like the farm life. It's a huge change from living in a city. Advild's made me a happy woman. I wouldn't want to be with anyone else in the world. Not in our nature. It's too bad the burning of King Olaf was called off this year. I think some of the younger bards would have really gotten a kick out of it. I think our flutist here has gotten better since the burning of King Olaf. He's okay. A little breathy and a little harsh on the notes. Absolutely not. I prefer to be near enough to come visit, but free to come and go as I please. She's okay. A little breathy and a little harsh on the notes. You're a hard woman to please, Una. That's generous, Yala, but I am happy to pay my way. Are your sales going well? I hope the Divines have been keeping you well. It should be quite the affair. Nice to have something happy in the midst of the war. If you give me a list, I'll have them delivered to the dock by tomorrow morning. Thank you, Advar. I am picky about what I eat these days. Go ahead, Ataf. That was better, Ataf. Add a bit of emphasis on Ragnar and Red. All right. Let's try something a bit more... fun. Fresh fish sounds like just the thing today, Advar. This time, let's try the Age of Aggression. I will demonstrate for the class. This time, let's try the Age of Oppression. I will demonstrate for the class. You see, all you need is a bit of spirit, and any song can be made into a classic. That's all for today. You're dismissed. Your performance has been excellent lately, Aya. You still need training, but one day you will make an adequate singer. You heard the man. Drink and be merry. Let's hear it for our kind benefactor. Hooray! I know you and Father Rorland have many duties to attend to in the temple, but sometimes I feel that there are more important matters to attend to. Sure has been quiet around the shop lately. We hardly ever get new customers anymore. I know, and I appreciate it dearly. 
but I can't help but feel we could be doing more. Viarmo, the college really must take a stand on the war. Big shipment coming in later tonight. I need you three working late. Oh, yes, sir. I feel many of Solitude's families are having trouble getting by, and the wealthy do nothing to help them. Mistress, the people of Solitude are destitute. Many are starving and desperate for work. We need to be more active to reach out to them. Possibly. Aya is my star pupil. None of the others can hold a candle to her, especially not that wretched Ildi. Sorry, I have everyone I need at the warehouse. Times are tight. Not that I mind the break, of course, but still. I suppose in more time, people aren't looking to part with their old junk. I'm sorry. You there. Have you performed your voice exercises today? I respectfully disagree, sir. Stendar and Zenithar may demand strength from them, but Mara and Abella demand compassion from us. Free mead! Hooray! Vyarma, don't you think it's time that the Bard's College officially declared support for the Empire? Aya, please be quiet. Vyarmo and I are discussing matters of national politics. Aya, this is a delicate matter. Why don't you review your lessons and be silent for a while? Mistress, a word? We barely have enough for ourselves. Here, it's all I can spare. Yes, Headmaster. Yes, well, see that you keep at it. That is all. No, that was an ugly affair. High King Torig's death has turned the whole town on its head. Between you and me? He wasn't even that good a king. All of those rambling speeches about the Empire this and the Empire that. My husband. He was the blacksmith up at Castle Dower. Generally, if you want rumors, you should talk to Corpulus. That said, I did see a visitor pass through on his way to the Blue Palace. Oh, no. But being surrounded by good music, good drink, and good friends is all I've ever asked for. Baron's my husband. He works the forge up at Castle Dower. I barely see him nowadays, what with him filling orders for the army. There's nothing like a good song to lift the spirit in troubled times. Uh-oh, a fellow bard. I best not miss my notes or forget any lyrics. Come by the Winking Skeever any time you want to hear a tune. You should think about staying the night. Corpulus keeps a clean inn. Now you can say you've met the most talented bard in all of Skyrim. Don't forget my name. Someday everyone will be saying it. I really need to get back to planning my wedding. Now, if you'll excuse me, the East Empire Company has several accounts and it's up to me to balance them. The Temple of Divines is always open for worshippers. Take care and go with the blessings of the Eight. Take care and go with the blessings of the Nine. Come back to bits and pieces any time. Make sure to recommend us to your associates. May the Divines guide and keep you. May you be saved by the Divines, as I once was. Stick around. Still plenty of songs to sing and mead to drink. Beren said you got here just before the execution. Must have been a lovely first sight. Huh. You know, you've got a certain... fire in your eyes. Just like my Beren did. Please... Feel free to look around. We've got a bit of everything. Welcome. Look around. We've got everything you could want in life. At least, that's what my Beerend always told me. Have a drink. Rest your feet and stay a little while. Let us walk in the steps of the Divines. Remind us of our place when we forget. May knowledge of your divinity carry us through our daily trials. Good business for the East Empire Company means all the more gold for the Empire. Welcome to Bits and Pieces. I'm sure you'll find what you need here. Good evening. I'm Pantia Atia, the master vocalist. Huh. You know, you've got a certain... fire in your eyes. Just like my beer and... Please, feel free to look around. We've got a bit of everything. Hmm? Sorry, I was lost in thought. I'm planning my wedding, you see. So many details to work out. Blessings to you. The Divines are listening. The Divines saved me from the streets, and they can save you from your trials as well. Feel free to make requests. It's been my honor to perform at the Blue Palace on many occasions. His late lordship was quite the admirer. If you ask me, this damned rebellion can't end soon enough. I had to end my tour of Skyrim's courts. Too dangerous to travel. 
To be honest, I simply can't stand some of my students. Only Aya shows true potential for greatness. The rest are just wasting my time. Some say I got my position because my cousin is the emperor. Nonsense. The man's given me nothing. He can't even be bothered to attend my wedding. I don't have time for anyone too lazy or cowardly to make their own way in this world. Welcome. Look around. We've got everything you could want in life. At least, that's what Birund always tells me. Yes, sir, of course. I'm just here to work the mine. Nothing else matters anymore. The outside world means little to us, and we'd like it to stay that way. When you work hard enough, really get into a rhythm, everything else just fades away. There's nothing more I can teach you. You've already learned all I can teach you. You already know all that I know. I'll gladly share my knowledge with you. I think I can teach you a thing or two. In a fight, if you see a big wind-up, get out of the way or bash him with your shield. Attacks like that go right through a regular block. When the other guy has his shield up, regular blows are useless. Wind up and hit him with a really powerful attack to get past that shield. Even if your opponent doesn't have a shield, those big powerful blows can stagger him. Leaves him open for a quick follow-up blow. Using two weapons means you've got no defense. You can't block anything, but if you hit him with both at the same time, he may not get up again. Only a fool lets himself get surrounded. Back up and make them come at you one at a time. Those big, powerful blows are tiring. Pace yourself until you've got the stamina to do one. Any fool can just flail about, swinging his weapon as fast as he can. Any fool can die. Keep your guard up and wait for an opening. Don't just stand still to do your big wind-up blows. Which way you're moving changes what happens and can be a big advantage. Want to improve your armor? Use the workbench. Make sure you have the right raw materials, such as iron or steel. If you want to make new armor or weapons, use the forge. It takes plenty of raw materials, though, such as iron or steel. Before you can enchant your weapon or armor, you'll need to learn an enchantment by sacrificing an enchanted item. Just use the arcane enchanter. If you know an enchantment and have a filled soul gem, you can enchant armor and weapons. Just use the arcane enchanter. You can eat an ingredient to learn one of its properties. However, they taste disgusting. You can make your own potions by mixing up to three ingredients together. Just use the alchemy lab. Make sure to pull your bow all the way back to get the most power out of your shot. If you want to sharpen your blade, use the grindstone. Although you'll need the right raw materials, such as iron or steel. Aren't they? I always set some aside for myself when the traders bring them up from the south. Exactly. Road patrols were cut in half because the Jarl needed soldiers. Now the bandits are bolder than ever. They've been raiding the farms for food, and supplies are scarcer than ever. Maybe I should sell swords and armor instead. Make it quick, then. I don't want your stink driving my customers away. I had to. The farmers are charging me double for the produce I sell. How goes the begging today, Brenuin? You're right. I'll have to remember that the next time I get a shipment in. I get them fresh from the farms daily, Nazim. Look, come back tomorrow, okay? If I have anything left that's not sold or spoiled, you can have it. No handouts today, Brenuin. Now scat. You'll scare off my paying customers. Oh, and to think I was going to feed you cabbages and apples again. Yes, little fairy, we can go to the tavern for supper. I'm afraid not, little fairy. The fruit has about another day left before it spoils. We've got to sell as much as we can, as soon as we can. That's what you said last week, and the week before that. Now go, before I call a guard. And what might you be looking at? <laughs> because it's always true. Oh, it's Nazim. He's been spending more and more time fawning over the Jarl. I swear we're hardly ever home at the same time anymore. It's nothing, I just... It's Nazim. How did we get to this point, Danica? Is there no love left between us? Huh? Oh, well... To be honest, I was thinking of Nazim. The gap between us seems to be widening. He's just so... self-absorbed. But it's more than that. Nazim is obsessed with this civil war as is all of Skyrim. I swear it will consume us all. 
<laughs> well, when you put it like that, it certainly puts things into perspective. But enough wallowing. And thank you, Danica. Oh, you are terrible. You do know that, right? <laughs> Maybe Nazim's obsession has merit. This civil war seems so big, so unceasing. I'm afraid, Danica. Afraid for us all. Of a sort. I don't have formal training in the Restoration School, but... something just as good. Within these walls, I have all that I need to brew a potion for nearly any ailment. If I had a septum for every case of rock joint or whitbane I've cured since I opened this shop, I'd be a rich woman indeed. Why? Because I'm a proud citizen of the Empire? Because the Stormcloaks only want Nords in Skyrim? The Stormcloaks can rot in oblivion for all I care. I've lived in this city for twenty years. Twenty! You've got no idea. Half the men in Whiterun have proposed to me. Some were even single. They'll never understand. No amount of flowers or honeyed words are going to change my mind. Right now, all that matters is my daughter Mila. No man's going to get between me and my little girl. Has your fever cooled? How is the pain? Any better? Feeling any better? How do you feel? How are you feeling? More rest will do you good. Patience. The body needs time to mend. Try to relax. You'll be well soon enough. No more than I was already getting. Four of the guards have already decided they're in love with me. Two of the guards got into a fight over me at the tavern. At least Balgruf's men bathed regularly. These stormcloaks always smell of ale and sweat, and their breath reeks. Ah, splendid, splendid. It's for a special brew I'm working on. A love elixir like none other. Oh, but I suppose you expect some compensation. Um, here. These potions should suffice. Ah, splendid, splendid. It's for a special brew I'm working on. A love elixir like none other. Maybe I'll test it on Faringar first. Oh, but I suppose you expect some compensation. Um, here. These potions should suffice. Here you stand, talking to a still-grieving widow. Why? Am I that interesting? Or perhaps there are other things on your mind. You'll find tonics, salves, poultices, and potions on my shelves. Browse to your heart's content. I offer remedies for ailments both common and rare. Do let me know if I can be of service. If there's anything I can help you with, you have but to ask. I sell cures for all ills, and I'll be happy to serve you. Ripe fruit and fresh vegetables for sale. Fresh-baked loaves, still warm from the oven. Pardon me, but do I detect a case of the rattles? I've got something for that. I hope you're looking at me like that because you want to buy something. I've got a hungry daughter to feed, so selling my produce is really the only thing I care about. Looking for my husband, Nazim? Check the Jarl's backside. That's usually where he stuffs himself these days. Are you married? You look the type. Make sure you treat your wife with the respect she deserves. Here you stand, talking to a married woman. Why? Am I that interesting? Or perhaps there are other things on your mind. Men are all alike, from Skyrim to Hammerfell. They care only for war and politics, and treat their women like cattle. Fresh-baked loaves, still warm from the oven. Ripe fruit and fresh vegetables for sale. Straight from the fields and orchards of Whiterun to your table. Come back any time if you need a remedy. Don't forget to see me at my shop sometime. Arcadia's Cauldron. Remember, fresh fruit and vegetables every day. Mostly. Thanks for the business. I've really got to be going. I think I hear my daughter calling. If you run into my husband, Nazim, remind him that he's not married to himself. Take care of yourself. These storm cloaks are ridiculous. They won't shop here because they think I'll sell them poisoned tonics. I should just go back to Cyrodiil. You look rather pale. Could be ataxia. It's quite a problem back home in Cyrodiil. Maybe a hardy Nord like you doesn't need a cure-all, huh? What about an invisibility potion? I have several elixirs for sale. Horses. All day long. Do you have any idea how dull horses are? If the guards would listen to Viola, they'd have caught the butcher by now. I love my husband, but he can be a bit dull at times.
Ugh. I'll need to bathe thoroughly to get this stench off me. Orkendor promised a place where we would be accepted and taken care of. We've been here so long, and what do we have to show for it? I know you can't hear me, brother. I don't like what we've become. Are you asleep? Yes, suffer for you. Yes, a sign. We are lost without your guidance. On the ninth of rain's hand, our prayers went unanswered. Yet here we stand, not faltering in our belief that soon you will show yourself to us. But who am I kidding? I know you wouldn't let me leave, brother. You truly believe in Orchendor and his promises. I want out. I want to leave this place. I long for the fresh air of the Reach. This place only makes us sicker. Periite, heed our call if you deem us worthy. Our leader, Orchendor, has led us here, and for that we are thankful. He has shown us that our suffering is not a punishment, but a blessing. Forgive me for saying this, brother, but I have not felt Periite's presence. He promised Periite would be present at all times and give us comfort in our suffering. I know this place will eventually kill us. I have come to accept that. But I will always regret the day I introduced you to Orchender. I didn't want to, but she attacked to try and keep me from leaving. I can't be a part of this place anymore. The things we do here, evil, evil things. No more! Then I must do this alone. By the gods, I know this looks bad. Let me explain. Good. Follow me. We have to fight our way up. I don't think anyone else here is about to have a change of heart. I'm going up there to stop her. This cycle must end. I don't know what brought you here, but I could use your help if you're willing. I called it home. Now I know that was a mistake. I am, or was part of a coven serving the Hagravens that live here. So was she. Hagraven up ahead. Pull the lever when you're ready and we'll take her. Locked. Damn! One of the hags nearby will have the key. You'll have to take it from here. I'll keep watch here. Unless you can pick the lock. We were supposed to find a sacrifice. Human sacrifice. I told her I couldn't do it, and she attacked. I've done horrible things living here, but never taken an innocent life. I couldn't just find some person for them to kill. I could also do some good for a change. Sure, I'd go with you. I suppose it would be better than sitting around thinking about all this. The initiation. My mother is going to become one of those things. I can't be a part of that. Gods, I can't run away from this. I have to stop her. Don't be sorry for me. I just... If I would have known it would come to this... Mother... All right. Mother is just outside this door. I have a plan. Keep Mother's staff. Think of it as payment. I want to leave everything from this cursed place behind. Goodbye. And thank you. I'll present you as the sacrifice. Just play along. While Mother begins the ritual, I'll strike. Then together we can... We can kill her. You've decided to help? I've thought this through, and it's the only way. She's too far gone, too corrupted by the hags. At least in death she can be free again. Enough. Let's go. Let's get up there before Mother finds out what we're doing. I'm going with you whether you like it or not. You want in there? Here's my spare key. Take whatever you want. Watch out for pressure plates here. The door up ahead will be locked. Clotha, one of the hag ravens, will have the key on her. Greetings, Mother. I can't let you do this, Mother. You have to die now. I've found a willing subject for you. Payment has already been discussed, of course. This is the last hag raven between us and my mother. Oh, I don't believe those rumors, my friend. Besides... Who would ever want to harm such beauty? I'm just saying that these ceramic lamps make me nervous. They just seem so... fragile. But... Isa? She's smarter than that. But... stealing the boss's sword? Did he have a death wish? Hurry up with it. We've got a merchant in the pit to take care of after we carve this thing up. Shut up or they'll kill us, you idiot. Once they're gone, I'll pick the lock. Come on... There. I got it. Let's go. Aye, and she's added more traps now as well. A moment of silence for our fallen friend. You know, now that I think of it, that sounds fair.
Just shove off before the others notice. Ha! Huh. Tough talk for someone who's about to have their guts spilled. Eh, fine. I can tell you aren't worth the trouble. Just get out of here before I change my mind. How does a knife in the gut sound? It's 200 gold or your life. Wise move. Now get out of here, you goat licker, before I decide the toll's gone up. Should have left when you had the chance, friend. Now we're gonna have to spill your brains on the road here. Hold it. This here's a toll road, see? You're gonna have to hand over, say, 200 gold if you want to use our road. Get on your way before I change my mind. Go on, get lost. That's a real shame. Gonna make it hard for you to pay a healer after we cave your skull in. Yeah, we can't have that roomy-eyed fool as our watchman, even if he is Hajvar's uncle. Time we dealt with both of them. Life's hard enough with all these men propositioning me. But that bard is the worst. If you want to try, go right ahead. I don't think anything will get through that thick skull of his, though. That bard Mikhail is begging for a dagger up against his throat, the way he goes on about me. I heard him boasting at the bannered mare, saying he'll conquer me as a true Nord conquers any harsh beast. Huh! I can take care of myself. A white-run woman learns how to handle a few idiot men early in life. Really? You convinced that loot player to stop chasing me? I'd thank the gods, but I'll settle for thanking you. Here's some coin for your help. Bandits are cowards. Don't strain yourself chasing them all down. I used to be an adventurer in my day. Then I settled down, got married. This brings back memories. Come back when you're done, and maybe I'll be up to showing you a few tricks. That's right. I used to explore all over. I'm the one who originally found the mine Darkwater Crossing was built around. I was actually scouting a bit the other day, old time's sake. Spite a brigand heading back to his camp. Up for a little hunting? My husband is being a sad stick, so I can't go myself. Fair enough. You remind me of myself a few years ago. Let me show you a little bit about wearing light armor. It's helped me out whenever I was scouting. Now I've got the itch to travel again. If you're leaving town, I wouldn't mind coming with for a while. Look over there. That's a dwarven ruin. Hey, look, a cave. Wonder what's inside. Is that one of the old ruins? I've never seen anything quite like that. I've got a bad feeling about this. Almost anyone in Riften is in dire need of those missives. Speak to them, child. You will know who will listen and who will sin. A word of advice. Keep away from the keep and the city guards. They follow their own path and have already forsaken her. Such a shame. Perhaps another time, then. Riften is drowning in a sea of sin and wickedness, and it's my personal mission to let everyone know that the warmth of Mara can see them through. All I need is a messenger to bring her words to these poor souls by distributing these missives. Oh, splendid! Just splendid! Mara smiles upon us this day. Allow me to give you her gift. A true blessing to aid you in times of need. Despair not. Her warmth will protect you always. Oh my, how wonderful! Lady Mara will be so pleased. Here you are. Now make sure you give out every single one. We can't afford to let even one lost soul stray from her warmth. Certainly. Glad to see you have the task well at hand. I had to, for honor's sake. But I had waited too long. My father died before he could see my training to completion. When I finally became a priest, they gave me the new high priest's dagger. But I already owned my father's. So you see, I have to return it. It breaks tradition, and I need to tell him that I finally did what he wanted. A priest of Arche is entrusted with a ceremonial dagger once they've completed their training. It's usually given by the head priest who sanctified the ritual. In my case, the head priest happened to be my father. The thing is, I never wanted to follow in his footsteps. In some ways, I still don't. I felt a caress on my cheek some time ago. I thought it to be a trick of the wind, but I think it was a message from my father. We've made peace with one another without even uttering a single word, and I'm content for the first time in my life. I thank you. Here, 
Please accept this as a token of my appreciation for your selfless action. I hadn't asked you because I was afraid you'd say no. I appreciate your help. Here, I'm entrusting you with the dagger. Bring it to Anders and he'll take care of the rest. Yes. Perhaps one day I'll be able to make the journey. But for now, I need to tend the dead. I'd like to make the journey to the Hall of the Dead in Windhelm and give my ceremonial dagger to Anders, the caretaker. I believe once it's interred with my father's remains, I'll be at peace with his memory. Yes, I could use some help with that. An assistant, perhaps? No, no, no. Maybe a familiar... No, too messy. Well, at any rate, organization is not my strong suit. Not at all. I need as much help as I can get. In fact, if you could retrieve a few things for me, I could start on my next set of experiments. A shame. Perhaps another time, then. A shame. Perhaps another time, then. Excellent. I can't wait. Well, why are you still standing here? Oh, right. You need to know where they are. That would help. As you can imagine, I tend to forget things often. Leave things around. I really must learn to put these things away. What I need is my Dwemer stirring spoon, my Orichalcum ingot, and my Grand Soul gem. In fact, I could use them immediately. Bring those items back to me, and I'll be happy to experiment on you. N no, no, that isn't right. I'd be happy to reward you. Items? What items? Let me see those. Hmm. I'm not sure how you managed it, but these are exactly what I need to start my next set of experiments. Wonderful! Well, at least allow me to reward you for your uncanny foresight. Let's see. Last time I used the Dwemer's spoon was at my dear friend Bodie's house in Iverstead. Fellstar Farm, I believe it's called. The Orichalcum ingot should still be at Winterhold at the Frozen Hearth Inn. I don't know why I didn't just take it with me. And last is the Soul Gem. I left that one in Windhelm at the White File Alchemy Shop. It was a good trade, too. Ah, oh, well. Oh, a new pamphlet from Dinya. I'll be glad to read it. Thanks. I do. We're with you, Dragonborn. Ah! Uh, oh! 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 Ah! Uh, oh! Ah! <coughs> uh. The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the hold. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor. A gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Very well. Just let me know when you have the necessary funds. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? As you wish. Speak to me again if you decide to purchase some decorations for your home. I'm sorry, but... You don't seem to have enough gold to pay for that. Very well. I'll make the arrangements. The next time you visit your house, your new furnishings will be in place. I'll be glad to help you. There are many ways to improve your home, provided you have the coin. And of course, don't forget to consult your home decorating guide for descriptions of the decorations you can buy. Now, what would you like to purchase? Well, you've already purchased every available improvement. I'm afraid I have nothing else to offer you. Splendid! There's a house available right now. The house I mentioned earlier is still available if you want to buy it. Wonderful. Here is the key to your new home. Very well. Just let me know when you're ready to purchase the house. There is an empty home in the city, but there was some... unpleasantness recently. I'm afraid it's not available just yet. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Long life to you, Thane. I am your sword and your shield. Honor to you, my Thane. What do you need, my Thane? Honored to see you again, my Thane. Winterhold, you want the college there? They teach quite a bit. Against six college-trained mages? I think we'll be fine. We'll be back at the college before anyone even knows we're gone. It's too late. There isn't enough of him left to go back in after. Savos is right. We can make it if we just stay alert. You're right. This is all my fault. Should we turn around, head back? I'll be right with you. 
We're not going to make it, are we? Where's Elvely? She was right behind me. We shouldn't have left her there to die. Come on, you can make it. Let's go. Oh, good. I've been waiting for you. Here you go. It's all ready. Now, Sergius knows what I want. I'm hoping he can get it done quickly. Damn rebels! Stormcloaks! Get them! As we commend your souls to Aetherius, blessings of the Eight Divines upon you, for you are the salt and earth of Nern, our beloved... The prisoners are escaping! You won't leave Helgen alive! Stormcloaks! Stormcloaks! Filthy traitors! That the best Ulfric has? That's how the Legion fights. Victory. For now. Ever onward. Dragon! It's the end times! The end times have come! By the gods, a dragon! How? A dragon? It's a dragon! Gods, help us! What's happening? Divines, help us! As you wish. Nothing for it but to keep moving. Better down here than out there. A dragon? First in a thousand years. Better down here than out there. Mara's mercy. A dragon? In Helgen? Why, you could be here at any moment. Hadvar, we've been so worried about you. Come, you two must be hungry. Sit down and I'll get you something to eat. Hush, child. Don't pester your cousin. Husband, let him tell his story. I just hope the war doesn't come to Riverwood. There's enough trouble in the world without those storm cloaks stirring up more. Make yourself at home. Just follow the road north. When you get to Hunting Brew Meadery, turn left and the road will take you to the city gates. It's not far. We used to go to the market there every month or so until the roads got so dangerous with the war and all. As much as can be expected, yes. I have no complaints. I suppose so, yes. Yes, I agree with you. Have you heard any news from the other parts of Skyrim? You speak truly. Have you heard any interesting rumors of late? I'll not argue that. Heard any interesting gossip lately? I couldn't agree more. By the way, have you heard any interesting rumors lately? I couldn't have said it better myself. It's been some time since I've had news from elsewhere in Skyrim. What have you heard? I know just what you mean. Heard anything interesting lately? Any news or gossip? I heard Ellenwyn say she's going to open a bottle of her best firebrand wine later. I can hardly wait. These stormcloaks are nothing more than an armed mob. This war won't last much longer. Well, I did hear that the Argonians have been banned from living inside the walls of Windhelm. They're only allowed on the city docks now. Most of them sleep together in one building, and they're as poor as wretches. Have you visited Rorik's dead lately? No matter how harsh the winter, the crops that grow there never falter. Even when every other farm in the hold is barely scraping by, the harvest at Rorik's dead is always bountiful. Is it good fortune? The blessings of the divines? Who knows? Now that I think on it, I did hear something rather interesting the other day. Apparently, the Red Wave has been docked in solitude for well over a month, and with no sign of shipping out any time soon. Some say the ship suffered damage to her hull when she struck an iceberg, and Captain Safia can't afford the repairs. Of course, she would never admit such a thing. Captain Safia is far too proud a woman for that. Well, there might be nothing to it, but I've heard that the feud between the Grey Manes and the Battleborns in Whiterun has grown ugly. Fralia Greymane is convinced that the Battleborns have abducted one of her sons. I'm not sure that it's news, but lately it seems like every blacksmith in Skyrim is out to prove that he's the equal of Yorland Greymane. It's not really a fair comparison, if you ask me. After all, Yorland works the Skyforge. How is any smith going to compete with that? This war has taken a toll on the merchants of Skyrim. Let's hope that it ends soon for their sake. I look forward to the day when this rebellion is put down and we once again have peace. The Grey Quarter in Windhelm is little better than a slum. It's shameful that the Dark Elves are made to live that way. With the soldiers all fighting in the war, there's nobody to hunt down the bandits. Travel has become dangerous of late. It's been a brutal winter. I can't remember the last time it was this cold and for this long. Well, I did see something interesting not long ago. There were several Khajiit camped outside the walls of Whiterun. Seems they've been traveling around the whole of Skyrim peddling their wares. You've got to admire their courage, doing something like that with dragons on the loose and a war going on. 
I've heard those mages up in Winterhold have been trying to figure out how many dragons there are in Skyrim. They seem to think it's at least a dozen, but I'm sure they're exaggerating. They're probably trying to scare us into giving them more money and influence so they can save us from the dragon's threat. I hope they'll serve the roast venison with bitter green sauce that we had at the last party. That was delicious. Well, I did hear that Ulfric Stormcloak was slain while defending Windhelm against a dragon, but it sounds too good to be true. I'll wager it was Ulfric himself that started the rumor. Maybe he thought it would bolster recruitment. It's very nice to meet you. You'll have to excuse Orthus here. He so rarely gets back to civilization. Stuck in Windhelm, poor fellow. Don't worry, Orthus. I'm doing my best to get you reassigned to solitude. Oh, Ambassador Ellenwyn, that won't be necessary. It is just Rosalon, after all. I'm sure he'll behave himself for the rest of the evening. Won't you, dear? The head office will hear of this, Rosalon. You're a disgrace to the East Empire Company, and to the Empire itself. How dare you, you disgusting pig! Just play along. I don't think so. Sorry. I would love to help you, but Ellen Wynn can be very vindictive. I wouldn't want to get on her bad side. Well, <laughs> anything to relieve the boredom. As long as it doesn't get back to me. Yes, that's probably for the best. I really shouldn't risk getting on Ellen Wynn's bad side. Oh? Something interesting, I hope. I don't know. I don't want to do anything that might offend Ellen Wynn. There is a lot of money at stake, after all. Come and visit me in solitude sometime. A delicate question, to be sure. I'm the Emperor's cousin, and the Empire has little love for the Thalmer. On the other hand, the Thalmer have considerable funds and are looking to expand their shipping. I haven't signed any deals yet, but I'm sure my cousin would want a cut if I do. What better way to soothe his wounded pride? Don't worry. I'll play my part. I find these parties such a dreadful bore. One thing everyone can agree on. This war is bad for business. The East Empire Company has interests all across Tamriel, inside and outside the Empire's borders. We try not to get involved in politics. However, as the head of the company, it's my job to make sure we maintain good relationships with prospective partners and investors. You heard him. Go on in. I'm shopping. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm still a bit dizzy from everything. <laughs> yes, Nepos. I should never have come to Markarth. Oh, it's you. The one from the market. This is a private home, and the master of the house is a very old man. He's not to be disturbed. Rather not talk. I have to head back to Cyrodiil soon. By the gods, that man nearly killed me. You saved my life. Thank you. Here. I was going to bring this to my sister, but I think you should have it. Thank you again. I can't believe I was this close to being killed. No. I'm telling you, there was no other reason. Just visiting. I had some business here. That's all. Not much. One moment I was buying a necklace, and the rest is just a blur. I'm one of General Tullius's agents. I was sent to investigate the Treasury House and the Silverblood family. They own Sidna Mine, one of the toughest jails in Skyrim. I was hoping I could buy or steal the deed, but I don't think that's how things work here. Mark my words. Thonar Silverblood was behind that attack in the market. Somehow. Or else what? You'll kill me? I already had to face that today. Thank you. The eight keep you. Was it that obvious? Damn. I must be losing my touch. No. I'm not. No. I don't have any idea. I was just shopping for a pendant for my sister back in the Imperial City. I've heard of them. Something about the men who live in the hills and attack caravans. I'm sorry. I don't know anymore. I'm just visiting here from Cyrodiil. No. I was just buying jewelry for my sister in Cyrodiil. I've never even seen that man before. We haven't been expecting you, and the old man needs his rest. Come back some other time. That's what I thought. Excuse me. What's your business here? You again. What are you doing here? Go on in. 
If you must know, I'm the maid, and the master of the house is old and needs his rest. So if you don't have any business, leave. Oh, this pendant would look lovely on my sister. Glory to the Forsworn! The Reach will be ours again. Congratulations on getting the festival restored. I heard you're the reason we get to have this. Thank you. Only in that I'm a graduate. I work here at the Winking Skeever. I would highly recommend it, though. Talk to Viarmo if you're interested. Only in that I'm a graduate. I work over at the Winking Skeever. I would highly recommend it, though. Talk to Viarmo if you're interested. I'm a bard, trained at the Bard's College in Solitude. Wanderers like you should think about applying. I'm a bard from the Bard's College here in Solitude. Wanderers like you should think about applying. No! Someone help me, please! By helping me, you're helping the good folk of Whiterun. How could I say no to that? An investment? Very well, I don't see why not. Thank you. When I have the time, I'll try to think how best to use this. May prosperity bless us both. Excellent. I think you'll be glad that you made this decision. If you change your mind, you know where to find me. Thank you. I'll be sure to put it to good use. I do. Now and forever. Oh? Where? Here. This is fresh. I'll have another meal ready tomorrow. We have a cozy little prophet. Here. This is your share, love. We're married. I guess we'll need to decide where we're living, won't we? You can always stay with me. Congratulations on your wedding. I'm so happy for both of you. Just leave. Well, yes. Why wouldn't I be? Are you... interested in me? It's settled, then. Brief as life can be in Skyrim. At least we'll have each other. Oh. I'm sorry I said anything, then. It's our wedding day. I feel like all of Skyrim is focused on just the two of us. How could you? Just go. All right. Just because it's you. We'll try again. Get out of my sight! I can't believe you're speaking to me after what you've done. You broke my heart. I'll see you at our wedding. Is that an amulet of Mara? I'm surprised someone like you isn't spoken for. You should arrange the ceremony at the Temple of Mara right away. I can't wait. Hello, my love. Back from some adventure, I bet. I'll get everything ready and meet you there. Our new home. I'll see you there. Goodbye, my love. Yes, my love? What do you need? It's a wonderful house, my love. If you don't mind, I'm going to start a small store. Something to do whenever you're on the road. That would be acceptable. You can tell Yvette San her shipment will be brought up to Solitude shortly. I'm afraid you're bargaining without the metal to back it up. I suppose I could make an exception. I do like her spiced wine. Fine. Tell Yvette San her shipment will be brought up to Solitude shortly. That's not my problem. You will? I mean, of course you will. You can tell Yvette San her shipment will be brought up to Solitude shortly. Ah, yes. If she wants to pay the 2,000 gold tariff, then we'll be all set. That's definitely going in my part of the Edda. Sorry, I need to pay attention so I can remember this. That much? I mean, of course, if that's all you've got. I'd sell her for that, but you ain't got it. That one with the saddle? How much are you offering? Can't help you. They're all spoken for. Then off with you. I've got better things to do. The dawn surely opens upon you, child. You must bear its light that all may see. Mara has reflected an image to me. At the foot of the throat and the young woman, almost a girl. Her fickle love must resolve itself. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. Return when she has seen her path. I will entreat Mara on your behalf. The village of Iverstead... The woman? Fastred. Your efforts have helped illuminate the entire province. I trust by now you've achieved a higher comprehension of love. Carry the blessings of Mara with you so the rest of the province may shine with her glories. How wonderful! Like the sea, their love roils and swells, but brings life and nourishment to all. The goddess smiles at your efforts, child. The dawn shines bright upon you. 
You have seen the young, fickle love of youth, and helped a more seasoned love find its way. There is one final aspect we wish for you to explore, for a strong love can withstand storms and even survive death. Take this symbol of Mara. She will guide you to the wandering souls of two whose love was so great that their entwinement binds them to this world. To receive the touch of Mara, you must first act as her hands in the world. Explore the facets of the infinite jewel. Not all can hear the broad echoes of deepest dawn. Do not forsake your heart, child, for it may one day come to surprise you. Mara will always accept you into her arms, should you seek to return to her fold. I see you are eager to carry the light. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. As you venture, Mara fills my mind ever more with visions of love in peril. Embers lie nestled in stone, needing only fuel to bloom a flame that will warm all around them. Go to Markarth. There you'll find Kalsomo, wise, acid, and reclusive. Help him to emerge and state his intentions. Always, child. Mara's mercy is ever-flowing. We are devoted to the goddess Mara, who gave mortals the gift of love, that they might have a hint of eternity. Her blessings are many. To love is to know the true nature of the gods. Are you prepared, then, to help bring the light across this land? May you carry the warmth of Mara to all corners of the frozen wastes. The dawn surely opens upon you, child. You must bear its light that all may see. You'd better find that chest that fell off the boat, or Gullam I will have your hide. Another trap, most likely. Things are dangerous. Three of the guards died when the lower hall flooded with steam last week. Help! In here! Back up! I need some help in here! Intruder! Help! Ugh! Damn thing! Just stay back! Back off! Can't trust these things. Long as you clean up. You know how to use it, right? Mix a couple of ingredients together, see what happens. A little wheat and blister wart makes a healing potion, if you didn't know. We have plenty of ingredients for sale, too. Peace! Yul! Zun! Fus! Teed! Bas! Run! Wuld! Faim! Fos! Kree! Fik! Kan! Is! Fo! Su! Lok! Strun! Jor! Hun! Od! Ran! Fo, zun, fus, tid, wold, hun, hun, ral, lun, jur, kan, is, yol, fas, faim, su, lok, strun, fig, las, futor, hal, ro, klo, na, ru, zi, gra, Va! Ba! Za! Kal! A! Mir! Lun! Lo! Drem! Slen! Ya! Torshul! Halvik! Roda! Kloul! Nakest! Rumar! Zigron! Gradun! Bakur! Yanir! Kradin! Bakuo! Zafrul!
Kazur! Aving! Mirta! Nun aus! Losa! Drem ov! Slenus! My God! Hey, ugly! Hey, slut friend! Hey, skeever butt! Hey, cheese brain! Nice to see our leader still has a moment to enjoy the thrill of the hunt with us. He might find something good in there. One man's trash is another's treasure. She might find something good in there. One man's trash is another's treasure. You have a job to do. You want to get paid? Do what I hired you for. Oh, uh, yeah. I know you don't mind hurting people. Just look what you did to... Well, you know. I need someone to do that to someone. I'll even pay. Oh, gods, what did you do that for? This is horrible. I'm not paying for murder. Get away from me. Were there tears? I hope everyone can see the bruises. That's too bad. It should hurt. A lot. But I'm not paying for murder. Oh, if you're caught, it's not my problem. I hope you're not planning to attack me again. Ah! Don't do that! What the... I'm invisible. A healing spell. Are you a priest? I've never been more ready. I'm staying out of this. That's not something you see every day. There a reason you're walking around with an unsheathed weapon? Don't start swinging that thing in here. How do you feel? I think you might be sick. Oh, such colors. That spell looks dangerous. Keep your distance. Not bad. Reminds me when I first started smithing. You made that from the remains of a dragon? Amazing. Good job. I can see you know what you're doing. Masterful. That's a work of art right there. Not too shabby. Apprentice-level work, but solid. Keep at it. You don't see many people crafting with that these days. Impressive. That's some good armor you've put together. That's a decent weapon you've made there. Now that's how it's done. I doubt anyone in Skyrim could have weaved a better enchantment. Watching you reminds me of my first days as an enchanter. Ah, fire. A capricious element. Often deadly, but always exciting. That's a decent enchantment. But keep studying. You've only scratched the surface. It's wise to carry a few summoning enchantments around. It's intriguing the way certain materials are more or less receptive to the force of lightning, is it not? Well done. Not many enchanters could pull that off. An excellent elixir. Your technique shows a command of the alchemical art. That's a fine potion you've put together. That's a good concoction. But keep trying new things. Alchemy rewards inquisitive minds. You've brewed a truly vile poison there. I pity the beast that tastes that. An interesting mixture. Keep experimenting. You'll improve with practice. You've produced a rarefied solution there. An infusion of pure essences. Artfully done. Not sure. Let's watch and find out. But... Oh, no. What happened here? Is he... dead? Is she... dead? Is that the murderer? It's really dead, then? I would never have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. It may be dead now, but where did it come from? In all my years, I've never seen such a thing. Something's happening. What manner of magic is this? Look out! Don't get too close! It's like the ancient legends. Dragonborn. It can't be. You... You took its very soul. By the gods... I don't even know what to say. You lost. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. Got something for just about everybody in here.
Give a holler if you have any questions. Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Hello, friend. Make yourself at home. Can I help you? Good to see you. Come on in. Let me know if you see anything you like. I worry about my brother. This way I can keep an eye on him. Make sure he's not getting into trouble. I'm worried about my son. I'm keeping an eye on him for a little while before I pass on. I know my mother would be worried about me. I'm here to let her know everything's all right. I'm worried about my daughter. I'm keeping an eye on her for a little while before I pass on. I know my father would be worried about me. I'm here to let him know everything's all right. I worry about my sister. This way I can keep an eye on her. Make sure she's not getting into trouble. I'm not quite ready to let go of my husband. Junk. My father's been haunting me ever since he died. At first it was a little strange, but now I'm glad he's here. A parent should never outlive a child. Having my son's spirit here, it's as if he never died. A parent should never outlive a child. Having my daughter's spirit here, it's as if she never died. When my husband died, I wasn't sure I could let him go. Now I don't have to. My mother's been haunting me ever since she died. At first it was a little strange, but now I'm glad she's here. I was a little scared at first, but I like having my brother around. It's comforting. I was a little scared at first, but I like having my sister around. It's comforting. My wife died. Things won't be the same without her. My husband died. Things won't be the same without him. My father died. Things won't be the same without him. My mother died. Things won't be the same without her. My kinsman died. Things won't be the same without him. My kinswoman died. Things won't be the same without her. My friend died. Things won't be the same without her. My friend died. Things won't be the same without him. My girlfriend died. Things won't be the same without her. My boyfriend died. Things won't be the same without him. My daughter died. Things won't be the same without her. My son died. Things won't be the same without him. My sister died. Things won't be the same without her. My brother died. Things won't be the same without him. My aunt died. Things won't be the same without her. My uncle died. Things won't be the same without him. My niece died. Things won't be the same without her. My nephew died. Things won't be the same without him. My cousin died. Things won't be the same without her. My cousin died. Things won't be the same without him. They're fighting over that thing, I think. Someone's going to get hurt. What's all the commotion? You might consider putting on... something. Anything. Look, you shouldn't be doing that. Not now, please. Thank you. The mill! The flour mill! The smelter! Somebody do something! Hurry! What's all the commotion? By the gods! What in the world? This can't be happening. Try not to set anything on fire, all right? I'm glad we're friends. I have something for you. Here. Now, let's, um, not talk about this anymore, okay? Yes. Thank you. Please, take this for your efforts.